todos. Bienvenido a Seville. Day 27. Ugh. It's almost over. Actually, I'm not in Seville, though. I'm still in Spain, but I'm in Cordoba. Right behind me is the uh, old Roman bridge. This was originally built by Romans um, and built on and uh, fortified over the years, obviously, fixed, maintained, because um, that was uh, that was a while ago um, that it was originally built. But um, that's, that's kind of what uh, Cordoba is all about. It's, again, another one of those Spanish cities that uh, um, is just built on one legacy after another after another. Um, one brick and a different builder and everything. You know, I've talked about Seville before. It's the same, except almost a little bit more in Cordoba. Uh, Cordoba was the, uh, was the center of the, um, or it was the capital of the caliphate um, when the Moors uh, took over. And it took a, a, um, a it was uh, ironically conquered quicker, or earlier rather, um, by the Christians, um, even though it was the center of the caliphate. Um, but you see that everywhere here. Um, I'm uh, in the process of taking some photos. Uh, I waited for the, the sun to set so I can take uh, some night photos and I'm trying to get the bridge. Um, the video is actually a lot lighter than the, the, the actual um, uh, lighting, um, so it's, it's much darker. Um, so this camera is taking a little bit longer, but it's, uh, um, it's going to take some really nice photos with all the, the lights out there. Um, anyway, uh, I spent the day wandering around this city and I absolutely love it. And uh, I realized I have to come back because there's just too much to do. Like, I can't, I can't see this whole town in one day. Absolutely not. But I did go to the cathedral, which was the ori originally a, um, uh, well, I was going to say it was originally a mosque, um, but before that it was several other things. But um, it was the most gorgeous mosque uh, that I've ever seen. Um, they obviously turned it into a Christian cathedral or whatever. But oh my God, this place. Uh, one of the, it was the reason why I came to Cordova, right? Um, uh, I wanted to see that uh, cathedral because I've seen pictures online and absolutely wanted to get in there, take some photos, see for myself. And it did not disappoint. It's amazing. <sighs> it... I don't know, it's breathtaking. Like, I can't believe, first off, it's a huge, it's a huge building um, with columns after columns. I think there's like thousands, or at least 8,000 of those columns just everywhere. I can't believe how many uh, someone would have built um, for this thing. It, they just go on. And I had a lot of fun um, just trying to take pictures of like, you know, rows and rows and rows of them um, as best I could. Of course, the place was swamped with uh, other people, so it was very hard um, to get a clear shot every now and again. One sec. <laughs> um, yeah, and then there's the, like, obviously you see that Muslim influence. Uh, you see that uh, uh, architecture. It's, uh, like, outstanding. It's really something. Um, and like, you know, I, I'm going to show you a bunch of videos, but they don't do any justice. You've got to come here and check it out. You've got to wander around. And the funny thing is, is that I took maybe like three passes. Um, I just kept going around and around and around again. Um, first off, cause I, I noticed that, um, uh, it had seemed to have cleared out. Uh, it was about noon. Um, so on my second pass, there seemed to be less people. So I got um, better opportunities for less crowded photos. But um, I just, I was about to leave and, and I just had that feeling that, you know, I'm not ready. <laughs> I'm not ready yet. I want to keep going. I want to keep doing this. Um, because it's so, there's so many things. And it's and even, like to say it, it has the, the, uh, the Muslim influence and the Christian influence doesn't do that justice either because it's still like an, 
more and more blends within those styles themselves and it's just ah oh, you gotta you gotta go you you just gotta go and uh yeah i'm i'm very very happy i i took this day trip um and uh it, the thing is this the city's gorgeous though like it's um i don't know how to describe it exactly it's a little Maybe it's a little bit more Moorish than uh, Seville. I don't know whether that's true though, um, but it, they share a, a style, definitely share a style. Um, obviously, it's Spanish, right? Um, but there's something a little different about here. Because um, of course, Cordoba was, um, was actually, some argue, some historians have argued that Cordoba is actually the, the starting place of the, uh, of the Renaissance in Europe um, because it was here that um, great mathematicians and great thinkers came together, they built libraries, and of course, it, with it being in the um, Iberian Peninsula, it had that connection not only to um, the wisdom of the Islamic world at the time, but also the connection with the, the new uh, sciences that were um, uh, coming all throughout the Mediterranean. And of course, you know, um, being on the trade route and everything, um, they were, um, it was here that, um, you know, East and West met. It was here that they uh, sat down and started to, Europe, well, uh, I mean, they're Europeans too, but um, the Islamic <laughs> Europeans and the, um, uh, you know, the Christian uh, Europeans got together and started to exchange knowledge. And um, they were both uh, in wonder um, as far as the knowledge that each had at the time, which was, is, you know, that's part of why you do those exchanges, right? You know, and uh, I've talked about this enough probably, but diversity, different perspectives, that's what really uh, causes positive change um, and uh, innovation. One more that I'm gonna change the angle. I think it's good though. Um, but yeah, this, uh, this place, it, it does have elements of um, uh, like uh, Renaissance um, uh, neighborhoods and, and buildings and that. Um, I'm not using the right word. I don't know whether that's Baroque or whatever. Again, I should get this down, <laughs> the architecture uh, names and stuff so I can speak on it a little bit more intelligently. But it's gorgeous. It does remind me of um, like on going down um, the center of town uh, really reminds me of, uh, you know, this the Islamic um, uh, foundation of Spain. Um, but when I was out uh, on the east side um, in a little bit more uh, busy area, that really reminded me of like northern Italy, Italian um, cities as well. They even, I even found a plaza, this big huge plaza that had the arcades and stuff. And I mean, it doesn't look exactly the same style, but it, if I took that picture and told you it was in Italy, most people would probably go, eh, okay, maybe, sure. So yeah, I discovered another wonderful city and another wonderful day in another wonderful, you know, trip. Um, I'm really enjoying Spain. Um, I'm definitely going to miss Seville tomorrow. I'm just going to relax and I'm just going to let my body tell me where I want to go. I'm already starting to feel tired from all the walking today. I got so excited. I wanted to see everything. Um, my feet are a little tired. Uh, <laughs> um, so I don't know what I'm going to do tomorrow exactly, but um, I am, uh, I'm going to take advantage of Seville for the last day, and then uh, Monday I'm, I'm off. Um, so join me on this journey. Um, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, um, if you could subscribe, that uh, would uh, help me immensely. Uh, a like is always appreciated, and of course, I love reading your comments. Um, so please keep them coming. Um, they were in abundance last last night, and I thought, oh wow, that's so cool. And I read them all on the train here. So um, thank you for that. I really appreciate that.
Um, so I am going to see if I can get another angle, possibly to see whether or not there's any lights on the uh, uh, mosquito. Um, and uh, then I'm gonna go find something to eat and then I gotta, I gotta head back. So um, I hope everyone's doing well. I, oh, I am obviously doing well. I hope you guys are planning your adventures. If there's any way I can help, please let me know. Um, there's another video coming tomorrow. So, hasta mañana. Good night, everyone. <laughs>